New at four protests outside of Bartlett City School District headquarters today. It comes after a Bartlett mother recently said a child at her son's elementary school was suspended after allegedly touching her child inappropriately. But this mom says it's much worse than what school leaders are saying. WREG's Jerita Patterson was there and has more on what this mother is asking from school leaders. This is a mother on a mission. A journey she's been on since November, she tells us. It shouldn't take a mother 31 days of coming to your building and calling to get in touch with you. The Bartlett mother claims her child, while riding the school bus, was touched in a way she says the district is calling inappropriate touching. But this mother says it was much worse. It's actually assaulted. Powerful words and a powerful allegation. Those with Bartlett City Schools told us in a statement they were aware of. Adding, quote, the incident in question has been investigated at every level, from school resource officers to the board attorney, even the superintendent looking into the matter. The district goes on to say, quote, unequivocally, Bartlett City Schools evidence does not support that a sexual assault took place, end quote. This is not what the mom we are choosing not to name wants to hear, which is why she landed on the sidewalk across from Bartlett City Schools District Headquarters Monday, here along Stage Road, where she staged a protest. Rage? Heartbreak? Yes, this is my child. She is not alone. There was another mother also protesting. I, I am. I am. After she alleges her child was also touched in a way she calls sexual in nature, she is looking for more answers and accountability. You're principal, so these kids belong to you at the end of the day until we pick them up. Although small in number, the effort is enormous. Not even Mother Nature with the rain and the frigid temperatures are stopping these mothers from carrying out what they call a campaign for change. With those inside looking on, these mothers and a father say they will continue on indefinitely. In Bartlett, Jarita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3. And again, those with the district say they have thoroughly investigated the matter and took the appropriate actions.